Okay, so there is another photo. There's a photo you've probably seen on my Instagram of me with this giant teddy bear in the back of this boat. And to give you the backstory on the teddy bear. The teacher used to give us a teddy bear. You would take it home for the weekend. You would do some type of activity with the teddy bear. Come, oh, That comes out a little weird. You would do whatever you do at your house with the teddy bear and bring it back to school and tell the class about your weekend with the teddy bear. That's what you used to do, right? Well, of course, you already know what I did with my teddy bear. I take my teddy bear, we go fishing. That's what that picture is about. I took my teddy bear fishing. I don't remember what happened that day. I don't remember what happened, but that's the whole purpose of the video you see with me and the teddy bear and the boat and fishing and all of that. It was like not a show and tell, but pretty much a show and tell. What's up guys, I'm here at the Falcon Boat Factory again. Today, uh, I'm gonna check on the progress of my boat. It starts off really fast, it's like building the frame of a house. It starts off fast, and then when we start getting towards the uh, finishing parts, it, gets, uh, it gets, uh, gets to be quite a chore. So let's go check on it. What's up, my guy? What's up, dude? You all right? Yeah, bro. What's up, my man? You all right? Good to see you, man. Yes, sir, good to see you too, bro. This is my dude. Look how big the thing looks. I don't even know if I can get. I probably have to get my drone out so you can see how big it is. But with nothing in a boat, and you look at the hole, and it's like way bigger than it looks like once you get a deck and everything on it. Like it's hard probably on video to get a concept of how big this really is. But it's uh, it's like 101 inches wide at its widest point at the widest at the beam. But it's just stupid big. When they pick it out of the mold, it always looks a little grungy like this. Uh, Cause like I said, it's, it's just like a childbirth. Like the child doesn't come out clean and pretty. They'll wipe it all down when it's time to wipe it all down, make it look pretty. This boat's gonna be a little bit different. Not so much in the color is gonna be different, but it's, it's got a little bit of sentimental value to it. All right, so here's my boat right here. This is the top of it. Obviously, uh, quite a few things are still missing. Not necessarily missing, but we hadn't quite got to uh, to the finishing stages of it. I think it looks like we're starting to rig up all the wiring. Uh, cap. The cap has been installed. We need a lid. You need carpet. There's still, uh, still quite a bit to be done here, but they work on it. When it gets to this stage, that's when things kind of start to slow down a little bit. When they're over here on the back side of the wall, it happens real fast. In two days, you're like, man, I'm gonna have a boat by this weekend. And you get over here and it gets to all the intricate details and things kind of really start to slow down because it's a lot, a lot of really small details that you gotta have to make the boat do what it's supposed to do. I was fortunate enough, uh, my dad gave me this engine cowl. That's the engine cowl that you saw on that boat that I was that I was setting in with the teddy bear at the beginning of the video. My dad actually kept that engine cowl since 1985. And it had been sitting in his shop for how many years? basically about 35 years it's been sitting in his shop and he gave that to me last summer I, I actually asked for it I saw it it's been sitting in the shop forever and I saw it and I asked him if I could have it he let me have it I refuse to clean it up for some reason I don't know what it is about cleaning it up but I don't want to clean it up 
and I can't explain why. All right, so I ordered the uh, the F-20 Predator. The last three years, I've had the F-20 Predator, which is, for the most part, is the same boat as the 205, for the most part. Let me set this down so I'm not shaking quite as much. But it's pretty much the same exact hull. The F-20 Predator 205, pretty much the exact same hull. The biggest thing different is what you're paying for in the two holes is just small trimmings that make the boat and embellish it a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the difference between getting, uh, let's say, Jordans and Reebok Classics or Air, Force, or Air Force Ones. You know what I'm saying? Jordans always got a little bit more trim around, a little bit more color. So this particular boat right here is a, is a 205. The color and the striping, the way you can stripe the boat is a little different. If you look at this, you go basically, I think they call this a whole stripe, a pinstripe, a whole side, and a top cap up here. And when you go to a Predator, the first thing you notice on the Predator is there's no whole stripe. Pretty much you carry your color all the way down to the bottom of the boat, but you have a bird head. So that's where you get your separation and detail right here. Even the console is the same for a few years, the console on the 205. In the, in the 20 were different you can see those seats right there that's a new seat it hadn't always been the same seat on these boats I know one thing you'll notice the difference is if you see that little panel right over there you'll have one over here too you'll have an aluminum finish panel right over there where the passenger sit and I'll show you what it looks like if I can find one that's finished you have a little panel and it has a little storage in there where you can stick a pair of gloves or cell phone. That only comes on the Predators. So on a Predator, you got an upgraded flooring in the bottom of the boat. I'll show you what it looks like right here. Uh, it's just a floor pad. Actually, they haven't installed that one. It's the last thing that they install on the boat because you don't want to get that all dirty and grimy before you send it out to the factory. Here it is right here. It's laying up here on the top of the deck. But it's, uh, it's similar to what you hear people talk about with Sea Deck. It's the, same, it's the same stuff that this is right here, so it dries out real fast. Okay, so there's another difference between the 20 Predator and the 205 with your rod lockers and your storage compartments up front. Now, obviously, this is a 20 Predator. The compartments are fiberglass here. They're totally concealed. Well, on a 205, you won't have that. On a 205, it'll be a carpeted compartment so look inside here you can see you see how it's, they just put carpet in here on the 205 that's another difference Wait, so in a 20 predator this is really cool i'm gonna show you this if this one's got it in here in your front compartment you know you always got like spare lure spare hooks lead tackle all that stuff just kind of gets a little wonky you got a slide and tackle tray in here I really like this. You see, you can slide this, this tackle tray, you can slide it back and forth. This only comes on the 20 Predator. You see, you can slide it back and forth. You can get an upgraded trailer on the F-20. You might be able to get the upgraded trailer even on the 205 as well. So this is gonna be the standard trailer right here. Standard trailer comes with, that was these 14 to 15. 14 inch wheels. Uh, and they're going to be a little bit more narrow tire you get the matte finish trailer but I'm pretty sure on the 20 Predator you get an upgraded trailer with the 17 inch wheels and and the bigger tires the wider tires and you can get chrome fenders if you choose to get that so the finished product of my boat is out here already they've got everything finished uh, I don't have my motor in yet, so what we're going to do is move it outside so they can continue to build boats on the inside. And then once I get my motor here, we'll bring my boat back inside, install the motor, and be able to take off and uh, start the rigging process.
so drop me a comment in the comment section let me know what you think about my boat this year it's uh pretty unique for me i like this boat i'm really loving the color scheme i haven't did one with so little black in it in a long time i guess i did build that gray boat one time but um i wanted to match up something from uh from my childhood I, i've been like super nostalgic the last year or so i don't know why just kind of going through that stage right now and uh i wanted to build something that uh that i could relate to and so that was the color that was the motivation behind the color on this boat i'm really digging it i just want to put some fish in this bad boy this year give me a couple two or three wins my guy if you look at it my dad's boat was mostly uh it was mostly like a black metal flake on top and on the inside that's why i got that all matched up ironically just about every boat that i've had has been that color but i went with just a little bit of red a red pinstripe to separate down to the silver silver is what most of the boat is only thing i think i, I might have could have went with a little bit lighter silver metal flake but for some reason that lighter metal flake looks kind of gaudy to me so we went with this a little bit darker gun metal and i'm happy with it so i'm actually going to get to take the boat home today um i think what we're going to do let me know in the comments if you would like to see this video thinking about doing uh some rigging videos with the boat too i don't know if you guys are interested in that You're like man i don't really care to see you hook up wires in your boat maybe you don't but uh, i was thinking about doing a video or two as we rig the boat as we put electronics on it um you know just document that but you know maybe you don't care about that if you don't care about the electronics and what i'm putting in the boat and that's cool like it doesn't hurt my feelings i just want to give you guys what you want to what you want to watch what just stay right there don't you don't jump out of the boat stay right there just hold on hold on i'm just hooking up the boat man good job dude you actually really did roll it down on there though you did a good job rolling it down mia wants to do it something now let her do it go ahead mia Go ahead, let her do it. Uh, Go ahead, Mia. <laughs>